All right, so the technique that we're gonna go over in this video is a hip flexor stretch. A lot of people just blow right past the hip flexor stretch by going too far. So I really wanna accentuate how to get that hip flexor stretch right in the front of your hip here. So first I'm gonna demonstrate the way that, you're, that you should not look when you're doing this stretch. When, pe when you see people coming really far forward and arching their back, you're never gonna get a good stretch of the hip flexor here because the hip flexor attaches from the inner groin and actually to the front of your spine. So when you flex your back like this, you're allowing those points to get closer together. Instead, what you need to do is flex your core to lock this down to a posterior pelvic tilt. If you don't know how to control your pelvis, reference one of our other videos on the, on the pelvic tilting. So you tilt your pelvis back like this. You could even squeeze your right glute. You use your core to hold your pelvis in that position as you move forward as a, as a unit. When I say as a unit, notice that my spine is staying very straight here. I'm not leaning back like this and I'm also not leaning forward like that. By keeping that core engagement, you should begin to feel a really strong stretch across the front of the back hip when you're doing this, okay? So from the front, it looks like this. From here, lock the core down and here. When you, get a, when, you, when you get through stretching this way, you can add to the stretch by leaning over to the opposite side as well, or even reaching up and across. This is a really good stretch for runners who are having any sort of back knee or, uh, or hip issues, and a great starting place for anybody who's having some back pain.